Hey, what's up guys? Double here again. Welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 1. Today, we're checking out the Heroes del Atlantico mod for Men of War Assault Squad 1. If you guys saw my previous Star Wars Galaxy of War mod video that I uploaded a couple of hours ago, then I promised you guys to upload another video today. And, well, this is the one. I also gave you guys a quick preview of some of the units and what we were going to be doing. So I thought I'd just expand on my, my thoughts for this series so far. We will be doing at least two videos using this mod in its current state. There are only two maps, but I'm planning on making more maps for it myself. Uh, there's quite a lot of cool infantry units, and I want to showcase uh, two different types of units. Uh, one sort of special unit for each faction in each video. So in this video we're going to be doing a little highlight on the Royal Marines and the Commando Amphibio. And in the next video when we have sort of escalated the conflict when the Brits have received reinforcement down here. Obviously when uh, Margaret Thatcher sent down the fleet. Um, we will be looking at the... Uh, Royal Regiment of Paratroopers and the regular Spanish commandos, sorry, Argentinian commandos. Uh, this mod is in Spanish, uh, which is probably why I accidentally said Spanish back there. And it's going to be very fleshed out with a lot of cool units in its upcoming versions. This is 0.2. You can grab it on uh, modtp.com and it is for Men of War Assault Squad 1. So these units are not available yet. There's only two special units for each faction or nation rather available at the moment and as i said we're going to be doing we're going to be highlighting them separately in each of these two videos um so on the argentinian side we've got battalion de infantería de marina which is uh, marine infantry uh, we've got commando which is obviously commandos we've got commando anfibio which would be uh, uh marine commandos we've got gendarmería grupo alacran which I believe is like Gendarmeria, isn't that military police or something like that? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Otros, which I believe is crew, like pilots and tanquista. Tanquista is definitely tank driver. Regimento de Infanteria, which is just regiment of infantry. They're not available yet. On the British side, it says ing, which is ingles. <laughs> That's funny. We've got the Gurkhas, which I cannot wait to use. Otros, which is crewmen. Para, which is, you know, obviously the Royal Marine. Uh, no, sorry, the Royal Regiment of Paratroopers. Royal Marines, just Royal Marines as they say. We have the SAS, which I can't wait to see as well. And the Scots Guards. So some regular infantry there on the side. Um, and in today's video, we are doing sort of the invasion of the Falklands Island. This is the first day. This is the Air Force Base of Mount Pleasant. RAF Mount Pleasant, yes. Which is near Stanley. And uh, obviously, Puerto... Uh, Puerto Argentina, I'm not sure what it's called, it's sort of what the, uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, wait, single arg, Puerto Argentina, yes, I was, was right with that, is what they called, um, is what they called the Port Stanley after they took it, they kind of changed name of it, I presume, um, and they invaded that, um, I've just got some text saved on my phone because I thought it would be useful for this video for everyone who's not really up on keen with, with the invasion of the Falcon Islands. So basically between the night of the 1st and 2nd of April, um, an Argentinian destroyer carrying a lot of different types of troops and all that, um, part of the Operation Rosario, um, kind of crawled closer to Port Stanley, which I believe is the, the capital of Falcon Islands or whatever you want to call it, I believe so. Uh, they sent out special troops on Zodiac boats. Um, let me see here. They reached York Bay. I believe they were reconnaissance. Anyway, so the, the big attack was is sort of set out in two different parts here. There was first the attack on Moody Brook Barracks, where uh, 21 Gemini assault craft uh, boats, they're sort of like rib boats, uh, carrying about like 80 or so special forces attacked some Royal Marines sleeping in the Moody Brook barracks. I'm not sure if that was a bloody firefighter. I'm just pretty sure they kind of uh, contained them. And, and they. I mean, I presume it was it was more of a surrender because the Argentinians were so bloody many of them, I presume. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I don't want to obviously shed, shed shit on, on, on anyone surrendering if they didn't. Um, I just honestly sitting here talking about it to you do not have too much of an idea myself. But that's not what the point of this video is anyway, geez. Amphibious landing at York Bay. This is more of what we're doing here. Uh, there were 20 US built LVT P7A1s that uh, an Argentinian Marine battalion or something 
uh, used to attack the actual uh, city there. Uh, the ed they landed on the edge of, of Stanley there, so I fuck I'm I'm not I've got a fucking shit. I don't have a great idea of the uh, Moody Brook Barracks. Uh, yeah, they attacked it. Um, ba -ba -ra -da 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 -da. Operation Azul. I mean, see, there was mainly POWs, 96 to 114 POWs out of the 57 Marines who were stuck there so uh and they killed just one so uh, i was right about there wasn't there wasn't a lot of crazy shit going on because when the argentinians invaded with like a 1500 men they landed like a <laughs> what one and a half battalions or a whole in the city um uh, the governor pretty much said like fuck it we're not gonna lose any british lives over this right now it's gonna be pointless uh and i understand that but anyway so without further ado the falklands war is such a such a touchy subject, and I understand that, obviously, it's a very big controversy around it. Even today, uh, I saw documentaries that said, like, how the Argentinians could have won the war. Essentially, if it would have been a war of attrition, the more they would have stuck uh, stuck it out, so to speak. Um, and if they could have conducted more long-range sort of Air Force bombardments, they could have essentially crippled the British fleet that was down there, that was, like, slowly and slowly kind of losing it in the attrition, seeing as they lost ships here and there. And supplies. I mean, they were really far away from home, whereas the Argentinians just, you know, had the Falklands Islands right off the coast. Anyways, here's the airport in the morning. Here is the attack that I want to simulate, which is not... It's sort of a combined scenario on the attack on Moody Barracks. Moody Brook Barracks, where the most of the troops guarding Port Stanley were located. Um, Royal Marines, that is. And sort of a mixture of them taking this airport. They really, there wasn't really a big fight over the airport because the, the Royal Air Force actually tried to bomb the airport to prevent the Argentinians from using it. But the Argentinians managed to repair a bit of the runway and sort of land their C-130s with supplies and all that. So this is kind of a combined video. This is more of a symbolic video for the entire invasion of the, of the, uh, the Falklands. So we're going to get our Marines here and do this stuff. Oh shit, I think they've spotted us. <laughs> well, I presume that's only reasonable. Can we stop unloading troops? We'll leave you here, and the rest I will drive around up here. I believe they're gonna run back and tell their superiors that they are indeed under attack. Oh shit, we evacuated the entire vehicle. I didn't mean for that to happen. Well, I send out some squads left and right center. And then we're going to ram this down. Move, move, move. We've got company. I think the ranges in this mod could be increased a bit. They're a little low at the moment. There we go, lads. I think the Brits are quite a shock at what's going on right now. Our Commando Amphibio is moving in. And we're going to drive this guy down right here. Oh, it's a slaughter. Oh, explosions! Can be heard throughout the airfield, and obviously that will reach news down in Port Stanley, where uh, more troops have invaded through uh, Gemini assault craft boats, you know, those tiny little rib crafts and all that stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. One more troops are moving in. We're gonna. Here's where most of the Royal Marines are held up in the barracks. Look at that. Don't they look awesome? Skins and models for this game is just ridiculously cool. Uh, problem is with the Falcons, very open maps like this. If you have short ranges, the, um, the, uh, well, it's gonna, gonna go to shit. Because it's gonna be <laughs> close range over big open surfaces. Don't make a lot of sense. But, so, anyway, I can imagine the comments some of you guys are writing out now about how unfair this battle is. This is a reconstruction of essentially the invasion of the 
uh, Falcon Islands. It was a sweep and take for the Argentinians. The, the, the British did not expect an invasion, nor did they have a lot of troops defending the islands. Uh, what I'm trying to put base out here is that the invasion itself was fairly harmless, but a Men of War video that's harmless is not much of a Men of War video. <laughs> so I had to obviously simulate a bit of a battle. And uh, unit to ratio wise, the Argentinians outnumber the Brits quite heavily. I mean, if you read some of the the things they have to say. I'm actually going to take quick control of the Brits here and set up this 50 cal. Because they got one back down here. Oh, you can't turn it? Can you turn it? Oh, he's going to go for his gun. He's going to go for his gun. That was a quick kill. We've sort of secured the barracks. Other troops have secured Port Stanley. Where most of the troops have obviously surrendered due to the severe, severe disadvantage they were at when the Argentinians did arrive. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're killing a couple, though. This is definitely not a casualty free assault. That would have been boring. There we go. There's still a couple of geezers are remaining here. I believe there's one man back in this barracks. We're going to storm him with the Commando Amphibio. Head right in. There's also some troops back here. Causing a bit of a disturbance. Oh, he's back in here. I was like, that's a very quiet assault. Commando Amphibio! He's down, he's down, he's down. Good job, good job. I'm gonna gather back here and secure the airport entirely. How's the assault down here looking? Why don't you pop up and pop that guy? This uh, Carl Gustav here is... Seems to be... Oh, well, hull integrity damaged. This seems to be a pretty advanced damage model to that vehicle in particular. Uh, this guy... This guy, obviously, to simulate a bit of the battle's realism too, is going to surrender. He's gonna drop his gun. He's gonna stop. He's gonna walk back. And over your head! Gringo! <laughs> Probably not the words they would use. Stop shooting him, assholes. We have a prisoner here! Come on, that! Obviously, it would be a whole lot more. That's cool, that's cool. We're running them up. So, seeing as there were about, like, what, 57 POWs? If we caught the rest of the sleeping marines. Probably be something like this. I'm gonna walk him back, take him back to our... Wherever we would store... Captured Marines, you know? Bit of a cool scene, isn't it? Capture of Port Stanley? Yes. Good job, good job. Alright guys, that is this video done. In the next video, we're gonna place the Brits. We're going to probably whoop some Argentinian ass, you know, we're going to play both parts, obviously, and we're going to simulate uh, another sort of later part in this conflict. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys soon again.